Namaskaram. God knows what devotee needs. Now let's see this story. One day morning, Lord Krishna and Uddhava went for a walk. During the walk, they both came across a rich man's mansion. At that time, Lord Krishna said he was thirsty and asked Uddhava to fetch him some water from rich man's house. Uddhava went to rich man's house and asked for water. The rich man of the house invited both of them into the house. He received them with respect and offered them with cool refreshments. Lord Krishna was very pleased with his behavior. When they came out of the house, Lord Krishna blessed the man with prosperity and even more wealth. After that, they continued their walk. After some time, they came across a small house. There was a cow grazing in the backyard. Lord Krishna again said he was very thirsty and asked Uddhava to get some water from the house. Uddhava was suspicious that Krishna was up to his usual tricks. Uddhava went and knocked the door. An old disciplined person opened the door and invited them into the house. Uddhava told that his friend is very thirsty. That yogi then exclaimed that his one dear possession, the cow, will not let him down. He milked the cow and offered fresh milk to his guest. Krishna drank the milk with enjoyment and thanked him. They both walked out of the house and his hands moved up in blessing and said, May the old yogi's cow die. Uddhava was shocked by Krishna's blessing. Uddhava questioned Lord Krishna, why you are punishing yogi when he offered them the best he could? Krishna smiled and said, his blessings are always true and is based on the need of the individual and not on his desire or want. He also explained that the yogi was on verge of reaching me, but his attachment to his cow prevented him from attaining mukti or liberation the ultimate truth. Lord Krishna also added that yogi is in the path of reaching me, but his material attachment to cow is blocking him to reach me. That's why I blessed his cow to die, so that he can concentrate and meditate to reach me. In Bhagavad Gita chapter number 8, verse number 8, Lord Krishna told to Arjuna, one who meditates on me, his mind constantly engaged in remembering me, undeviated from the path, he is sure to reach me. We also fix our mind in God always to reach him. How can we do that? Engage ourselves daily in praying to God sincerely to seek his blessings. Sarvam Krishna Arpanamastu